All right, water signs. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. I'm going to go ahead and get into a reading that is love and relationship focused for you um, for the month of May 2023. I have done general readings for you as well, so there may be some correlating messages in those. Uh, feel free to check them out. Um, yeah, let's get into it for Cancer. These videos will be time stamped, you know, so you can scoot ahead should you like. Um, also, if you're seeking a private reading, a uh, personal reading, you can contact me at thealtruisticmystic at gmail.com and I will be with you soon. Um, yeah, and if you like my channel, you like my style, feel free to go ahead and subscribe. I've been on a bit of a hiatus for oh, far too long, but um, I feel better, a lot better. So yeah, gave for microdosing. Uh, okay, Cancer to the sea. You know what? I cannot remember the exact meaning for this one, so I'm going to pull this up for you. All right, to the sea. Being in flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together, a natural pattern of events. In a relationship sense, there are points in a relationship where you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to uh, have things? <laughs> Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? <laughs> both you can trans both of you can transcend your personalities. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit dyslexic. I apologize. Can you both, can you both transcend your, um, oh my God, your personality, your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy. Now is the time to relax and see where there, where this mutual journey leads. My God, I am so sorry. I hope it's better than that. To the sea. So essentially working together in unison alignment for the same goal it's kind of three of pentacles energy um but it's about change it's about allowing things to happen allowing things to take shape so let's go ahead and get some energy for you guys oh man i just i just bleeped out boobs and weenies over here on these cards. I've had these for over 20 years. It broke my heart to do that, but apparently YouTube is a prude. So yeah, anyways, go ahead and show me energy. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do, uh, Cancer, I'm going to do a, um, their energy, your energy and actions towards each other, you know? So let's go ahead and do that. Let me pull for the energy of the person that Cancer is with. Can you please show me the energy of the Cancer, the, the person that Cancer is dealing with? How are they viewing Cancer? What are their intentions? What is, how are they showing up here with Cancer, please? How are they showing up with Cancer, this person that Cancer is dealing with? Sun, Moon, Rising, Cancer, May 2023. All right, Cancer, let's get it. Oh God, I'm sorry. You do. Okay. Show me energy for the person that Cancer is dealing with. Well, you have the King of Wands, Aries Leo Sagittarian energy. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a bit more here. The Eight of Cups coming out in reverse. <clears throat> Can you show me their actions towards Cancer, please? The Page of Wands coming out here, okay? That's their actions. Can you show me the energy? Okay. Cancer, your energy is coming out as the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Give me one more for Cancer. You got two. You have the um, Strength and the Queen of Cups. Your own energy, Cancerians. Queen of Cups. Uh, heavy Leo influence here. Could be Sun, Moon, Rising Leo. Um, 
Alrighty. And show me the actions that Cancer will be, I want to say doling out. I'm not sure why doling out was there, but here we go. So it's, um, it's the Knight of Pentacles. It's a slow, intentional movement towards this, this situation. No rush, no worry. Oh my God, sorry. <gasps> Tips ahoy. Um, all right, show me the connective energy between them, Cancer and this person. Show me the energy between them. There's five, five of um, cups coming out. One more, please. Three of pentacles and the nine of wands here at Cancer. So the mutual energy between you guys is interesting. It feels like you're really guarded. It feels like somebody here is trying to make better decisions in their life but it will come after a point of a period of rest, um, rest, rejuvenation, I feel acceptance. Uh, yeah, it feels like this person that you're dealing with though, cancer, fire sign may it be, but generally what this will indicate is that somebody has walked away from a situation and it may have taken them a bit of time to come to an understanding, perhaps with to see this energy is more so indicative of somebody who was not able to connect with you in the right way or perhaps flip the flip it if you need to. But what I'm saying, here, what I'm seeing here is that um, there's a necessity for you to to communicate what each of you need and how you need to go about things. It feels like there's kind of like um, ruffled feathers, uh, probably some disconnect here. I mean, we've got somebody's walked away already, you know. We've got this sadness over here, you know, but the thing about it is with the Five of Cups, oftentimes we don't recognize that behind us, we have two cups upright. That is the um, Two of Cups. So there is positivity, there is potential, still potential, uh, but it needs to be readdressed. It needs to be taken action towards should we want to pursue it. And it feels like this person is wanting to pursue it. And I feel like you're both um, coming to some sort of agreement here, Cancer, perhaps after some sort of break. Maybe this person needed a break. Um, maybe you did. I'm not sure. Whomever. But we have for you coming out as the four, uh, four of pentacles in reverse. So whatever you've been holding on to, perhaps that's a mindset. Perhaps that that is um, just being very stubborn, closed off. The four of pentacles can talk about going within and just like shutting out other people. Uh, a, a closed fist receives nothing. But here in reverse, it tells me that you're opening to the idea of the situation happening slowly. With the strength card here and the queen of cups, it's almost as if like you need to allow patience in this situation or perhaps you've been very patient in this situation and things weren't happening quite as smoothly or as easily as they could so but it's it's interesting because it's like with your actions towards each other you know let's communicate about things let's start a new beginning here let's take it really really slow you know and intentional so good you know because the outcome here or your, the energy between you two, it's sad, it's frustrated, you know, and it's guarding itself, but the outcome is wanting to get on the same page with each other. And I think that's kind of how this energy is starting to present itself here. Um, I wanna, yeah, I will. Yeah, even with just picking these up, the Ace of Swords is popping off and then at the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. So through communication comes a, I wanna say swift change. I don't know why swift, but a change nonetheless. Um, there is a recognition of love between the two people, two, two people and um, feel opening apart, opening apart. So that may be something. Maybe somebody's been very closed off emotionally. Can you show me, uh, can you show me why we've been guarded? Why, wh what is the energy of this nine of wands here for Cancerians and the person that they're dealing with? Why is the energy between them guarded? 
like you're guarded, but you're still open to, yeah. So you have the Knight of Pentacles coming out in reverse here, Cancer. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, Pentacles in reverse, it, it indicates somebody who either has taken a really long time or not at all. They've given up on a situation because there was no longevity to, you know, go in through. And here we have the Magician at the bottom of the deck with that. So it's like we have some sort of resurgence, some sort of... Um, I mean, this could, I, I hate saying reconciliation, but this could be a reconciliation, you know, reading. But <clears throat> um, here it feels like we are having the ability to be a bit more open in how we go about communicating and connecting here. And I feel like it's important to mention, Cancer, that it's, it is key to forgive. Forgiveness is key, I guess. Um, somebody possibly both of you are holding on to a lot of sadness here so maybe communication hasn't quite happened yet but it feels like it will be hopefully soon um show me the five of cups yeah a lot here but i'm gonna take it okay yeah bottom of the deck death so that is kind of like a repeat message here something has already ended cancer but you come out with the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, the Empress, and the Four of Cups. So this is about rejection, you know, and I feel here with the Queen of Swords that there's something here that was really, it was a difficult decision. It was a difficult decision to make regarding initiating this energy underneath the death card over here. You've got the world. So it's, it's a considerable ending something happened here, um, you know, but I feel that the Queen of Swords energy has had to protect herself here, um, especially if somebody's showing up as the Knight of, the Knight of uh, Pentacles. And I do want to say too here, it's interesting because it's like they are showing up as the King of Wands, but their actions towards you are the Page of Wands and their actions in the past, it feels like have been the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe somebody who's been very hot or cold, very one foot in, one foot out, um, cold feet, yeah, uncomfortable with actually commitments. This is a non-committal energy, the, the Knight of Wands, or uh, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, but basically what it says to me is that this person may be a little bit possibly younger than you, possibly less mature than you are, um, but there's something here in regard to how they're operating is in regard to what they give, what they get, you know, maybe it's somebody that gets more than they give. Um, and that needs to be rectified cancer. Yeah. Yeah. I feel here you have gone within and you're really taking time for yourself. Pisces got a very, very, very similar reading. Actually, actually, actually. Pisces in the general water sign, the general reading for Pisces, their their reading was not general. It was like it was like hijacked. It was hijacked by somebody. And it was a total love reading. And it was very similar to this energy. So um yeah, the Empress and the the Hermit. I feel here, and I'm going to say it just like in Pisces reading, there's an energy of going within, but there's also an energy of saying, okay, well, I can't necessarily put my energy and my time and my dedication, I'm hearing, towards this situation of this person right now. You know, I'm hearing right now. Um, so it's like we're taking time to go and do things that actually stabilize our lives even further. So it's important, perhaps, if you're in this time frame, Cancer, to go ahead and put this energy for this person on the back burner and pursue something else. Um, perhaps that's already been what you're doing, but it feels like there is going to be some sort of like, mm, what, um, what is this, communication coming through here. So let's go ahead and pull a little bit more for you guys. Here it is. Yeah, because with death at the bottom of the deck, like death really does talk about, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> death really does talk about transformations, endings, but beginnings, change and transformations that are painful but beautiful, you know, things coming through and blossoming, you know, it's like, um, when the forest burns down, somehow everything becomes enriched through the, 
through the carbon or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Maybe that's a bad analogy, but it feels like there's some sort of like rebirth here. So uh, where do we want to go? Show me the Four of Swords is the underlying energy here. And I do want to say that the Page of Pentacles is underneath the Four of Swords, and underneath that you have the Four of Wands and the Fool and the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. So it feels very much here, Cancer, that there's something coming through in regard to a, uh, I want to say commitment, a connection, a commitment happening. Um, an offer of commitment or an offer of deepening something or healing something perhaps where it had to be fragmented off. So give me give me energy for that four of swords here for cancer. Yeah, you've got the magician coming out here um, and the seven of cups. What this can tell me is that um, this, this may be an opportunity, it feels like, to resurrect something or if you're not like if this isn't somebody from your past, it just feels like there's been a considerable rift here. But with the uh, Magician Cancer and the Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck, it's offering new opportunities in how you choose to make different choices. And I think that that goes for both of you. So that's great, but it, it, it's, it's highlighted by this, let me take time away from the situation to really take care of myself and address the inner, inner things first. So I like that energy, okay? Um, I'm going to go, I, I started to create a deck for my, myself, a deck of my own, and I'm going to go ahead and use that here, because I feel like that's important. Show me for Cancer. What is Cancer needing to hear? I'm sorry for how I've affected you. I know, my handwriting, I usually have pretty good handwriting uh, as a, I, I work in body work and it, it went away. Um, yeah, I'm sorry for how I've affected you. I need silence in my life. Seeking refuge. Please take care of yourself first. I want to take care of you. Two ships passing in the night on different oceans. Anchors in each other's lives. Okay. So that's a lot of cards there, but they did come out and that is that. Um, I'm sorry for how I treated you. I'm sorry for how I've affected you. I need silence in my life, seeking refuge. Yeah, I mean, it seems like we've got two cards in regard to silence, refuge, quietude, and that's what this is, you guys. That's healing the inner self that is taking time away from a situation so we can have a better point of reference to come back into it, should we choose to, should we choose to. Please take care of yourself first. I want to take care of you, you know? So maybe it's like one person really wanting to take care of the other person, but perhaps the other person's like, no, you you need to take care of you first. I don't know why that that that, that is, um, <laughs> these two are coming up together, but it's like we have like this mirroring energy that's happening, Cancer. I'm feeling a really nice, oh, that's peaceful, okay. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm feeling a very, very peaceful energy with this. It's like some sort of resolution and a breath of fresh air where perhaps we've been like um, really hunkered down and painful. Now it's kind of opening up and feeling a lot better. Two ships passing in the night on different oceans. This talks about people who are really not on the same page, um, really wanting different things. It very much goes in tandem with to the sea. You know, it's it's... It's how do we allocate our time and our efforts towards each other in this situation so we can actually have a beneficial experience here for both of us versus one wanting the other um, or one wanting different things from the other. You know, it feels like they might be drastic things here that need to be addressed because, you know, they do. Anchors 
in each other's lives. I feel like this is what we want as a joint effort, but it's taken a bit of time to get there. So um, can you give me some advice for cancer, please? Different deck. Can you give me some advice for cancer, please? You have the Two of Wands coming out with the Emperor, the Hierophant, Two of Swords, and the Five of S Five of Swords. Sorry, I'm showing you the thingies. Um, and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. The Four of Wands is just right under over here with the Ace, Ace of Pent Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with the Fool under this main deck. But here it's like we have this stalemate at this current time with this person and I feel here that there's an element of possible self-sabotage that has gone on in this situation perhaps that's something that has been a deal breaker because if you have two people working in different ways and working against each other or one of them working against the other or not even being able to see where they need to show up and, and present themselves in a whole and present way, um, it becomes very difficult. And so, you know, that can be where we like take time that could have also created the situation where it's like, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put my energy towards myself and choose a different path. And I think that that's what's already happened here, Cancer. Um, but with the Emperor and the Hierophant and the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck, that really does indicate energy of coming together in a unified connection, in a solid connection, choosing to go forth and actually make something very solid of a situation that seems to have fallen apart here. <clears throat> a lot of Aries energy here, Leo energy here. Um, you have Taurus, you've got Aquarius, um, Gemini, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you got everybody here pretty much. Um, Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It feels here, you guys, though, it, it feels here, you know, we have the Empress, we have the Emperor. It, they are in different decks, but they're still here. And it feels like with that being in different decks, it's like, oh, oh, you get to do things in a different way. It's not, it's going to be a different way for both of you. We're going to come to different directions and different turns, but somehow come together here. Um, with this energy, it's indicative that we have to allow space and peace for the other to make decisions, to process. Um, but this is a union that can last and last and last. So. That's what I have for you, Cancers. I'm going to go ahead and get into Scorpio energy here in a sec. <laughs> um, alrighty. Thank you. If you want a personal reading, you can contact me at thealtruisticmystic at gmail.com and I will get in touch with you ASAP. And there have been a couple people when I was like going through it that I was not able to connect with regarding readings. So I apologize. Um, I just, I couldn't, I lost eight people in my cat, like in two and a half years, it was too much. Um, and living with a psycho, I'm by myself now, it's all good. So let's go ahead and get into energy for the sign of Scorpio here. be comfortable. Show me energy for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. Love energy, romantic relationship energy, however it may come out. <clears throat> Speak what is most important here for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the month of May 2023. All right. Scorpio, what is this energy? Okay, fork in the road. So fork in the road talks about needing to find balance, needing to, okay, um, yeah, needing to find balance, needing to figure out 
now is the time for me to actually make a really crucial decision in my life and which direction do I go in? You know, do I commit? Do I not commit? Do I walk away from something? You know, is it is it time to take a break? How does it go? So let's go ahead and get some cards out for you guys. I'm gonna do an energy spread where, or basically a you and a them. So show me the energy of Scorpio's person, the person that Scorpio is dealing with. Show me the energy of the person that Scorpio is dealing with, please. At this time, it could be boyfriend, girlfriend, it could be husband, wife, it could be potential of something or other, but the person that is, is on your mind, I guess, and in your life. And if it's long distance stuff, you guys just apply it as you need, okay? So show me energy for the sign of Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Who is this person that Scorpio is dealing with? Who is this person? How are they showing up here for Scorpio? What is their place right now in Scorpio's life? Where are they? So you have the Five of Swords coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and pull a little bit more. You got the Ten of Pentacles here for this person's energy. That's interesting energy just because it's almost as if like somebody is, I do wanna say, I do wanna say, the Five of Swords can indicate, you know, gossip, problematic people in our lives. But what I'm picking up here most, most Scorpio, is somebody um, that is very, very heavily, that is very, very heavily, um, I want to say managing with self-sabotage. You can't manage with self-sabotage. It just turns into nothing. But it feels here a very self sabotory type energy. And it comes with this Ten of Pentacles, which is essentially like, you know, there's an offer here potentially that could go somewhere really, really strong. Like that's the indication, but this person's like, mm -mm, I don't want to do it yet. Or there's some sort of cold feet. Yeah. And bottom of the deck, you've got the Seven of Pentacles here. So this could be somebody who's commitment phobic, or this could be somebody who isn't able to see like you know, the forest for the trees right now. What are their actions towards Scorpio, please? What is this person's actions towards Scorpio? Temperance. So this person would like to bring balance, but it feels like they're in their head about things right now. Perhaps you're on a break with this person, um, not communicating here. Maybe they need a moment of silence for whatever they're processing, but the goal is to come together. The goal is to create some sort of unity here. This is the card of the alchemical, um, alchemic marriage. Um, it's a blending of, of differences. It's a blending of beings to become one or to create one, um, one harmonious situation, at least, I hope, Sagittarian energy as well. So yeah, for your energy, you're coming out with the three of swords in reverse. Okay. A little bit more for Scorpio, please. Queen of Cups. It's your energy, Cancerian and Piscean energy as well. And show me, you're like out, 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 out. Yeah, I feel like this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, is very, very in their head about how they go about things, about how they bring balance. I also do want to say here, um, justice at the bottom of the deck. I'm going to leave that here. It feels like there's a restoring of justice, but justice coming through truth and honesty here. So I don't sure I'm not sure what this person was kind of like hiding or holding behind the, the, the curtain, but it feels like there might be something to communicate here because what they might what they're hinting and hawing about is like this potential here. Um, and for somebody to it feels like somebody might have either just been in their head too much or maybe there's something that they're hiding a bit you know so we're gonna have to see but your energy towards this person is the nine of wands this is somebody that has been battle bruised they're battle worn they've gone through it and they're tired but they're willing to listen they're willing to communicate and potentially get a different perspective but better come correct you know 
Um, it's, it's somebody that is very much like um, protecting their point of view. So maybe communication has also been off with this person. I mean, clearly, you know, something has been happening. I feel here, uh, Pipe um, Scorpio, that you are coming out no matter what as like somebody who's still very, I feel emotionally grounded, emotionally connected, and what you offer isn't fake. Um, having a good amount of Scorpio in my chart, I know that for certain when I offer somebody something, it comes from the heart. It's very genuine. It's not some BS like little offer, you know, and when we retract offers, that is important to pay attention to because we don't, if we say something, it's like our word can be our bond. Um, and so with that energy, Scorpio, if you've had to retract yourself or from something from this connection here, what was what was it? It must have been pretty significant. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers here for this energy. Because it feels like the truth needs to be spoken or like some sort of balancing of situations needs to happen here. It's too many. Okay, let's order back in the deck. Um, show me this five of swords here for the, yeah. So you have the the Ace of Pentacles coming out for this person, the Page of Cups in their energy with the Eight of Pentacles here and the King of Cups. So I'm going to leave that there. Justice at the bottom of the deck with the um, uh, Four of Wands and the Chariot here. As it stands right now that this person I feel is... Mm, I feel is feeling silly. I don't know why I want to say that, but it feels like there's some sort of silly energy. Not like, ha ha, funny, but like, oh, I feel silly, like, dumb. Um, for causing some things here, but it looks like they're coming through because you have a match now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, but you have a, a couple here. So at least there's some element of emotional I'm hearing emotional protection restored. I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody was very protective of their emotions and now the connection needs to be restored, maybe. Hmm? But yeah, there, there's an apology here and it's genuine and it comes with an offer of dedication and creation. In love readings, sure, everybody wants to see the Ace of Cups. That's great. But for me as a reader, I want to see this. I want to see, this is the proof is in the pudding. You know, show me, show me how you're going to like come. Show me how you're going to make sense of this. Show me how you're going to present yourself and be present in a situation. That's what it feels like. I feel like I want to throw up. Maybe this person, sorry, you guys, I'm an intuitive reader. So I, I feel the range of stuff. Um, hmm. And maybe this person is anxious or nauseous or both. Yeah, it feels like you, you need to be open to, ooh, interesting. I'm looking at the bottom of the decks right now. They both have the justice card here. So honest communication from both parties, you guys, honest communication from both parties. But I do want to say here under the justice on each deck, you have the Four of Wands here. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And you have the um, Ten of Cups in the original deck. So what it's telling me, you guys, it's like the room is spinning. This is probably a lot for somebody to deal with. I mean, this type of energy denotes marriages, it denotes connections that are solidly coming together. It's emotional happiness. This is what people want, you know. I love that the Ace of Pentacles is there. I love that the Eight of Pentacles is there. Like I said, these indicate real, like tangible things being presented. And for this to be part of it and this, absolutely. This does talk about taking things to a very, very different level, Scorpio. Um, so it feels fairly positive, but it needs to be, something needs to be rectified or something needs to be communicated here with honesty. Um, all right, let's put that guy in the back of the deck or back into the deck. <sighs> show me, 
Show me Scorpio's energy. Why are you coming up as the three of swords in reverse? What happened? So you, you, okay, so you're weighing out your options. You're seeing what you have going on in your own life. It seems like a lot of the water sign energies are actually doing that right now. It's like, I'm gonna take a pause from this or I'm gonna walk away from something and take care of myself. It's almost as if it's, it's not just like, yeah, let me go take care of myself now. It's like, let me throw myself into doing this so I kind of don't have to think of that, you know? But here we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So you, you are turning inward, you're looking at your options and, you know, in a financial sense, that's great. It gives you, you're operating in a sense of like, well, let me, let me be a little bit opportunistic here. Let me take control of what I need to do and take control of my life a bit more so I can stabilize in some way because whatever this has been, hasn't felt stable. Show me please the, um, show me please the Queen of Cups for Scorpio. Yeah, you've got the Moon and the Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The Moon, Piscean energy, Cancerian energy for me as a reader, but the Moon is very much about emotional discomfort, emotional confusion. You know, now you have two cards of confusion. Some of you may be drinking a bit, you know, I'll just throw that out there too. Not, not everybody, but some of you may, drink, may be drinking a bit to self-soothe. Um, the moon, it is, it is not being able to see the path before you. And so that is the uncertainty. It almost creates more of an issue because it's like you don't really have anything grounding. To, to take care of or to at least like expand upon. It's just floundering energy. So the moon is going to be very, um, ooh, and aren't we, I think today or tomorrow, I'm not sure, aren't we actually getting into a new moon or a full moon? I don't know. Um, there's something happening with the moon though, and I feel it's gonna be actually very tumultuous or very in the feels for Scorpio in particular. You might be going through a full range of emotions that kind of come out of nowhere or that have just been blocked and now they're kind of erupting all at once, Scorpio. Um, and I feel it is in frustration to your happiness, to your well-being, what you actually want to occur in your life. Um, that is what I'm picking up with that Nine of Cups. It's almost like a frustration energy um, here for you. And I do want to say too, allow yourself um, that time to process, allow yourself that grace to be on your own and just take care of you, Scorpio, um, because people are probably not going to understand where you're coming from. People are probably not going to be able to also handle or be able to accept or I feel handle um, your quick cutting words, that might be difficult for some people. So just be aware of how you present yourself, how you speak to people, uh, where you're coming from at this time. Be kind to people. And if you can't do that, then remove yourself and give yourself the time to be okay. Okay. All right. Moving forward here. Show me this uh, temperance with the nine of wands. What is this? Show me more. Yeah, you have the Wheel of Fortune and you have the Eight of Cups here. So in this time, apart from this person or in this time, there's an element of really being able to um, see what is for you, what is not for you. It's interesting because it's like I feel like a bit of ambivalence here on your part, Scorpio, and... It almost feels like you've offered somebody something that is a genuine offer in the past, something of a gift, something of a very energetically sound offer, and this person couldn't figure it out. And now that this time has been spent, the wheel of karma has turned, it feels like this person has been able to suss things out and see how they feel, and they're re-emerging. That's what it feels like, they're re-emerging. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to work with them in tandem. I mean, with the Three of Swords coming out here in reverse for that first card for you guys, it does indicate that, yeah, it may have 
may have really stung, it may have really, really hurt, but you are now mastering the emotions that come with this and you are letting those swords fall out. It's, it's not being affected by it. Also, I do wanna say um, the Three of Swords in reverse can also mean that it is, you do not want anything to do with anything and it's like really, really bad. Um, the Nine of Wands in reverse, I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords um, in reverse can highlight that. Like with the Nine of Swords, it can be very much like, you know, there's lies and you're actually worried because oftentimes they'll say oh you're not you're just worrying for no reason it's just stuff on your head that's unresolved and it's paining you but like in reverse oftentimes they'll say yeah you're letting that go now but sometimes it can indicate that there's actually something really really wrong and with this situation there might be something really really wrong give me one more here for this three of Nine of Swords <laughs> and the Tower and the Five of Cups. Whatever this was, Scorpio, I'm gonna put those back because that is way too many cards. Um, whatever this was, Scorpio, has really left you in a painful place and it has left you in your mind about something. So no wonder you're over here trying to protect yourself moving forward from this, but it feels like this person does want to offer you something stable. They do want to show up in a positive way. Um, but I feel here that while they were trying to figure that out, you were trying to heal yourself in the same time. And now you've kind of like, mm, things have kind of moved on in a different way it's like your intentions are towards yourself so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and i'm um i am creating my own deck please i am so sorry my handwriting after a while is chicken scratch i usually have good handwriting but oh, not lately show me for scorpio please releasing control allowing myself to get lost, literally chicken scratch, I'm so sorry. Enjoy the moment and baby steps. I'm terrified when I look within, there's another one. I'm terrified when I look within. Okay, so Scorpio, um, very interesting energy. It's like somebody here with that five of swords. This is somebody who sabotages. I'm terrified when I look within. It's that type of energy. It's like somebody either doesn't know themselves or somebody is dealing with some very, very dark stuff in their life. I feel that that is, a, um, that is specifically to that person. It doesn't feel like there's gossip or miscommunications or, or petty bullshit. Sorry, petty stuff. Um, sorry, YouTube. Um, but it feels like... Um, this is very self-sabotory energy. And so when somebody's in that energy, it's very difficult to show up in a relationship at all. This person is taking baby steps to move forward towards you so they can enjoy the moment, <laughs> allowing myself to get lost. Sometimes we have to allow those chattering voices. It's like, get lost, get lost. This can also talk about somebody who needs to get lost in the moment to allow things to feel okay, releasing control. Okay. Can I have some advice for Scorpio, please? You have the Fool, bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. The Fool energy, um, one more, thank you. Okay, okay, you guys, one more. You've got the Ace of Cups here. So the Fool and the Ace of Cups, there's love here. There has been love here. And it, now the nice thing, like I said earlier, we don't just wanna see the page, the Ace of Cups in a love reading, yeah, great but I want it stabilized with something else. So that's what I have for you guys. It feels like you've got something very genuine coming in. It just took somebody a really long time to figure out what the heck they wanted. And it kind of left you in the lurch. And unfortunately that is going to work against them in trying to win you back. It feels because you're very guarded, but Scorpio, there is the potential for something here. And it feels like this was your initial intention with this person what you offered so maybe it's time to open the hands and allow that to come through should you choose 
Um, and if you are in a position and a place now where you're just like, no, I think I need to let it go, well then let it go. It's okay. A okay. So let's go ahead and get into a reading for Pisces. If you're seeking a personal reading from me, Scorpio, you can contact me at thealtruisticmystic at gmail.com and I will get to you soon. I apologize. There have been a few people who contacted me and I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even respond. Um, yeah, I've been really shut off. I had eight people die and my cat all in two and a half years. A lot of you already know that, but it's been... It's been rough. My friend Kelly just died in February, so I was back in Seattle for that. I was just like, okay, okay. Um, show me energy for the sign of Pisces. What is the love relationship energy here for the sign of Pisces? Overall residing energy for the sign of Pisces, please. May 2023. You have fork in the road, just like Scorpio, <clears throat> and you have chopped wood. I'm going to go ahead and read about chopped wood because I can't remember exactly everything about that one. Um, chopped wood, being grounded in everyday experience, humility is a relationship energy. Nothing is as important to you. Nothing is as important right now just as just doing what you need to do day by day, day to day. Um, I have dyslexia, I'm so sorry. Bear with me, my, <laughs> my apologies. Um, let your heart remember that not every, everything has to be hard won, passionate, or even obviously meaningful. Relationships and friendships go through lulls when the everyday tasks are at the center of awareness. That is perfect now. Hold hands, wash dishes, make a fire, read a book, share a meal, the simplicities of life essentially. Say nothing, stare into the space, stare, stare into space, pick up socks, tell a dumb joke, and leave space to breathe. The work of your relationship right now is very simple, just to be present. Funny how it makes work, funny how it takes work to just be. All is well, really. So we have fork in the road, which is choosing a very direct and important decision moving forward. So let's go ahead and get into this energy for you guys. Um, also, your general reading, um, Pisces, your general reading, Pisces, was, there's a, a water sign general read up for you guys. Your general reading was literally hijacked. It is a love reading. I don't know how else to slice it, but there's some really interesting stuff in there. So I don't know what you're dealing with, but here it's like we feel like we're trying to restore some sort of peace or maybe choose to do that by coming together. Show me, I'm gonna do a um, their energy and your energy. Show me the person that's, that Pisces is dealing with, please. What is the energy of the person that Pisces is dealing with, please? So you have the High Priestess in reverse and you have the Four of Swords in reverse. Now, um, Four of Cups over here at the bottom of the deck. This energy can indicate somebody who is, they have been able to, it feels like somebody's been quiet, very, very quiet for this to be coming out in reverse. Here we have a, a period of solitude, a period of going within, seeking the inner self, um, getting better acquainted with perhaps you. This is your energy, Pisces, the um, High Priestess. In reverse, it's telling me that there is somebody emerging and what comes with them is a fear of being rejected. Um, yeah, it feels like whatever has gone on here, Pisces, you're dealing with somebody who is trying to assess, assess, assess. And yeah, these are pentacle cards, but what I'm picking up is more mental energy. So maybe this person is very much um, overkill when they think, over-processing. They don't have the... It's like they maybe are um, confusing their emotions and intuition with logic. It's, it's kind of like clashing. What are their actions towards Pisces, please? How in reverse? This is this is coming back to a situation that's already ended here, Pisces. Strength at the bottom of the deck for that. Yeah, this person has been in a very, very deep 
state of silence, maybe. Show me Pisces energy in the situation, please. Show me Pisces energy in the situation. Your energy feels very heavy. Suddenly this deck feels like it's like five pounds. Okay. Yep, Queen of Swords, you are not, whatever's gone on here, whatever is ended here that this person is wanting to resurrect or readdress, you need them to be very, very honest here. And the nice thing about this is this does come with perhaps secrets that are now being revealed. Unfortunately, it does feel like some secrets have been had here or took place with this person. And whatever this was, you had to kind of cut somebody off to save yourself. Yeah, you got the... Now you're the one doing the... Um, <laughs> Seeing if this is worth your while, honestly. Um, you might be stalking them online a little bit, just monitoring things here and there. Um, or maybe that's their energy with you. It might be considering they kind of like dipped out, but show me Pisces actions towards this person, please. So you have the Hierophant coming out in reverse. Now, that can talk about a lack of uh, commitment here or maybe not wanting to go through with commitment, but it also can very much talk about, um, especially with this guy at the bottom of the deck, going within to see how we are going to move forward with a situation that might be unconventional. There's some sort of unconventional energy regarding this Pisces. And um, it may be something that you need to consider here. So I'm going to put this as the energy, because um, that's the energy between you right now. Um, it's like both parties taking time, both parties kind of disappearing for whatever period they needed to. Clarify here for Pisces. Show me this person that Pisces has been dealing with, the High Priestess in reverse, with the Four of uh, Swords in reverse. Show me their energy, like what's going on. So you have the Six of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Swords, and the, the um, Three of Swords here. So this person is very heartbroken about what they have experienced here. They're still seeing you as somebody that is a viable option and also very beautiful, very attractive. There's something about you that is like, I can't let this go. These are faded events here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is karmic energy. Karma is not all bad. Karma can sometimes be a very beautiful thing, especially when it's being supported with this type of energy and this type of energy, you know? All of these supporting cards are in favor of change. It's just the heartache that this person has been dealing with here. So there's a lot of love that can come from this Pisces. It feels like that person wants to communicate something of importance here, but you've got this uh, Seven of Wands, so it's a little bit of guarded energy as well. Um, show me the Tower in Reverse for their actions. King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. This person is emotionally coming, like, for real, for real. You have the Sun at the bottom of the deck. So there's been a lot of enlightenment for this person. There's been a lot of um, decisions that have come to come to peace with, I'm hearing, come to peace, they've come, they're at peace with these things, I guess. Show me the Queen of Swords here for Pisces. Because it's like you're, I mean, the Queen of Swords isn't necessarily just, you know, guard up rejecting things, but like, there's clearly a fair assessment happening on your part, Pisces, where it's like you're really kind of being mindful of how you go about this situation, especially if something has already ended with the Tower in Reverse. And uh, yeah, you could be dealing with a Cancer. Scorpio or Pisces too. Thinking of Cancer. Show me the Queen of Swords, please. So you have the Page of Swords with the High Priestess. And they had the, the High Priestess in reverse here. Your energy is the Hierophant in reverse towards them. Your actions at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant and we have the Strength card underneath that with the Lovers um, and being in your mind about it. But this, this is a very positive energy. It tells me that somebody has gone within, done the work. Perhaps they've had to change their mind about a few things because maybe things don't align exactly how they had envisioned. 
but the, the undeniable love here between the two of you, undeniable love. Your energy, Pisces, is more so of being silent right now, potentially stalking a little bit, but being silent nonetheless and allowing this person to come forward and communicate to you the truth, something about the truth, because it feels like their energy has been off in this and for you coming up as the queen of swords it's like you're the one that has to do the decision making at this point in regard to how things will move forward but it does feel like you have a very solid offer coming to you pisces there's very much in your head about it <clears throat> show me the hermit yeah you're you're figuring out how you want to go about connecting here genuinely with somebody ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck this is an offer that is genuine here it may have taken somebody a bit of time to figure it out but here we go yeah guys you have the page of cups the page of pentacles i'm sorry ace of cups ace of pentacles page of cups this is apology. This is a genuine apology and genuine offers here. You know, um, I would say if you're if you're open to this, I would say consider it heavily. heavily. I almost said heavenly, so it could be heavenly. Um, sometimes people take time, Pisces. Sometimes not everybody's going to be on the same page as quickly as the other is. Piscean energy as a Pisces, as a Pisces, okay. Um, I know that we can see the beauty within a human being. We can see so many aspects that that person doesn't even see about themselves. And it's like, if we're in their lives, we're going to push for them to become better and better and better. And that is challenging for some people, especially if they're not ready for that. And so it feels like there is this fork in the road for them and for you. And I think the easiest way to actually remedy the situation is to just be intentional here with chop wood, do the mundane, make it easy, try not to put so many expectations on things, just allow the flow to happen between this connection. It feels like good things can happen here. Um, I've started creating my own deck. I apologize, my handwriting is not the best right now. But, yeah, show me here for Pisces and this person. Ask your angels, ask your angels, ask your guides. Oh my God. Ask your angels, ask your guides. My secret is that I pray for you and send highest protection your way. That's, that's, it seems, seems like, They've got secrets that actually need to be voiced. Your secrets, Pisces, and this is your energy, but your secrets are like, my secret is that I pray for you and send highest protection your way. I mean, how, how Piscean? Well, I see who you are now. No strings attached. I do it because I love you. Relying on one another. I want you, I want you in me. And addiction masks my fear. Okay, so maybe you're dealing with somebody who's been dealing with addiction issues. That may be very, very difficult. You know, you do have the King of Cups here. Um, not to say that the King of Cups is some lush, but sometimes things can get a little bit um, harsh and there is a tendency to go within to drink. I'm not saying that this is a card of drinking, but it's just very, you know, they're holding a cup. <laughs> There's a cup, but anyways, anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, it feels like this person wants to be able to rely on one another. I see who you are now. It may have taken this person a bit of time, or it may also be you needing to take, get a different perspective with this human being. I see who you are now, you know, maybe this time apart or whatever, maybe this experience with this person has given you a different perspective here. It feels like there's, there can be passion here with I want you in me. Um, but no strings attached, I do it because I love you. That's a very big energy of acceptance here, Pisces. So 
I, I think if you want to move forward with this, great. If you want to think about it, great. Um, but it feels like there's something that's supported here for you. So that is what I have for you guys. If you want a personal reading, you can contact me at thealtruisticmystic at gmail.com and I will get back to you as soon as possible, okay? I love you all. Bye.